Before I ever went to Africa, most people would tell me that there wasn't really democracy there, or that the democracy that was there was a different kind to what you would find in the West. But when I actually went and talked to people, I found that people have made incredible sacrifices to promote democracy, fighting for human rights, trade unionists, people in civil society. So what motivated me was trying to work out what they were fighting for and why it was so hard for them to achieve it. One of the problems for those of us who care about democracy is there are so many different ways that you can rig an election. One of the things we need to remember though is that all of these ways are not equal. So what authoritarian leaders are increasingly doing is they're moving into strategies that it's harder for us to see. They're rigging elections in advance by determining who's allowed to vote and who's allowed to stand. And they're using new technology to actually promote fake news and hack electoral processes. And it's the innovation of authoritarian leaders that enables them to keep not only rigging elections, but getting away with it. One of the great moments in my career was being on the ground in Zimbabwe the day that Robert Mugabe resigned. There had been a lot of tension in the period leading up to that because no one knew if he was going to relent to the pressure and go or hang on. And that day was an incredible outpouring of emotion, like a champagne cork being popped. But underneath it, you also had the sense of fear. People weren't sure if he'd really, really gone, and they weren't sure if the people who were coming after him were going to be better. So it is an amazing moment filled, on the one hand, with hope, but also with uncertainty and concern about what the future might bring. Here at the University of Birmingham, we have a number of really important programs working with policymakers around the world, including the British government, to help them to think about how they can better promote democracy. One of the things it's therefore really important that we do at places like Birmingham University is conduct better research to understand why. Why are some countries able to make that democratic transition and others are not? And that's what I'll be dedicating the next 10 years of my career to.